Hello, I'm Edgar Miranda. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I am a simple guy. Look, I can't hold forever. If you reach him, tell him Leia has an urgent message for him. I laugh. About his mother. I like. Open fire! And even though it sounds weird for Star Wars, it does sound like something Poe would say. Let's just pray that big ass language. But not everything is laughter with Poe. No, General, we can do this. We have a chance to take out a dreadnought. These things are fleet killers. We can't let it get away. Disengage now, Commander. That is an order. And ironically, a fleet did get destroyed. But not by the dreadnought, but by poor leadership. There were heroes on that mission. Dead heroes, no leaders. And I see it everywhere. This is your commanding officer. Who's going to respect him now? Oh, what's that? Sorry? You're saying we have seen this before? Well, Vader didn't keep them alive. There was no one to mock. They were dead. And can you imagine Palpatine doing this? Poor leadership. No wonder this band of rebels gives them so much trouble. And while I'm complaining, let me complain some more. Why does Poe feel this? Is in this space? Why don't the bombers have shields? Why do these bombs drop? Is Leia floating at the same speed as the ship? Well, they're faster and lighter, sir. Lighter? Is it a bad idea to watch Interstellar and then Star Wars? Yes. Should I just accept this? Because in this universe I already accepted hyperdrives and the Force? No. Is this nitpicking and nobody cares? Yes. Pretty much. Okay, it's out of my chest. Moving on. What matters is that Poe has an arc. He has to stop being just a blunt instrument of destruction and learn to be a good leader. I need you to learn that. No! For that, the movie needs him to go from here to here. No, no, we are the spark that'll light the fire that'll burn the First Order down. And how does the movie do it? Of course, with General Leia Organa. No? With Admiral Akbar. Neither? Luke Skywalker. C-Tripio. R2-D2. Chewbacca. His friend Finn. Rey. Darth Vader? Yoda. Abanta. Then how? <clears throat> Vice Admiral Holdo of the cruiser Ninka. Who? It's hard to comprehend, but they laugh at Jules Verne too. Not what I expected. Amelin Holdo is a hero of the resistance. Because of her sacrifice, Leia and the gang live to fight another day. No doubt, but when this happens, shouldn't I be excited? Because in spite of the great editing and the amazing, amazing music, I really felt like a lot of these guys, casually talking, when just outside the window, there's something that supposedly no one in the galaxy has ever tried to do or accomplish. Call up a hammerhead corvette. I have an idea. Stop my thrusters. Full power. Rogue One, may the force be with you. Okay, it's not exactly the same, but close. Moncala forever! Holdo is a mystery to us. Our gateway to her is Poe. And through his eyes, and ours, she is dismissive, Flyboy. arrogant, very kind of you to make me aware, and doesn't share information. We had a fleet, now we're down to one ship and you've told us nothing! That's just poor leadership. If there was talk of spies, I would understand why she is withholding information about their plans, but there wasn't. Poe was demoted, yes, and she seems to dislike him from the start, so maybe that's why he's not in the inner circle, but then why this? Now 
That one's a troublemaker. I like him. No, you don't. Cut it, lady. And I'm sorry, but why would she stay with the ship? Leia is convalescent. The whole leadership is dead. She's next in command. Without her, who leads the dangerously trunk resistance? Why not leave her a transport so that she can use it when the ship runs out of fuel? I mean, it's risky, but you're already counting on the First Order not noticing the transports. And it's better than certain death? Or is her dying the only option? Now, time to board your transport. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to die. Too many losses. I can't take any more. Don't worry. It's only death. <laughs> Maybe it was foreshadowed. By this guy, this guy, and this guy. But really, why not leave a droid or use the autopilot? <gasps> yes, the autopilot. Everybody lives! What do you mean it doesn't exist? No, the ship flying by itself? Which is? Sir, the resistance cruiser is preparing to jump to light speed. It's empty. They're just trying to pull our attention away. Pathetic. Or maybe check for life forms? But why bother? She was more interested in protecting the light than she was seeming like a hero. For the sake of Poe's arc, I'm glad everything makes sense to him now. That could work. But to me, it just sounds... Thin, naked, leaking bag? What? Poor Lee. It's ridiculous. Regardless, Poe learns that as a leader, there is more than looking like the hero. Sometimes you retreat, you regroup, for the sake of the mission, of the people, of the resistance. Why doesn't he know this already if he has served under Leia for years? Or why does he learn it now from Holo's action explained retroactively by Leia? Beats me. What? I said beats me. In every corner of the galaxy, the downtrodden and oppressed know our symbol. We are, are the, the spark that will light, light the, the fire, fire that burn the first order down. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check the other entries in the review series of The Last Jedi. If you want to further support the channel, please check my Patreon page. See you next time. This is not going to go the way you think.